into another episode of Muhammad Talks with Contra Creators, Public Speakers, Motivational Speakers, Millionaires, Billionaires, and more. Today, we have Mr. Sean Dodd on another episode. So today, we're going to be speaking about one of the most important things. We're going to be looking at some very interesting ideas, asking a little bit of a fun, motivational question. Hope you guys are going to enjoy today's episode. Be sure to check out Mr. Sean Dodd's social media in the description below. And yeah, Mr. Sean, how are you? And please introduce yourself to the people watching. I'm always good, Mohammed. Thanks for having me here. I appreciate it. Um, you are so inspiring to even uh, to everybody out there. And I appreciate that. Um, I left and pursued uh, business leadership and worked on uh, executive leadership with different companies, um, working my way up from the ground all the way up and uh, did a bunch of consulting for a lot of top executives across the world. Uh, I realized that um, I had a gift to be able to help people see their best selves. So I, I joined Don and we created uh, AIA Motivation. Uh, and before doing that, um, I had a 12-year-old son who wanted to get on TikTok one day. And I laughed at him and told him that was silly. And he says, you should do it with me, Dad. So I did it with him and uh, boy, our account grew up to 350,000 followers on TikTok, 100,000 on Instagram. And we're just trying to spread the word of, um, of everyone being able to take themselves from a negative mindset to a positive mindset and see themselves for their true potential. Woohoo! That's awesome and amazing. All right. So yeah. So what is the motivational aspect? What is the most important part of your life? Uh, I think for me, it's just a matter of how many people I can touch, who I can touch in a day. Um, I put out posts that are motivational. And honestly, if it just makes one person better because of it and make uplift one per person, it's that's what motivates me every single day is uh, helping others see who they potentially can be and uh, waking up with a new way of what can I do differently today to spawn that so it's not the same old thing every single day uh, that they're seeing and hearing and feeling something different from me. So trying to transfer this amazing energy that I've created within and give it to as many people as I can. So yeah, what is something that's really important in your life? Well, outside of my family, I think it's just the relationships and the community that I'm building. Um, the, there's so many people out there with with amazing talents. And when you can pull all these great people together and into one common task, you get such an amazing result because, you know, your background is different than mine. Um, and no, no one is better between each other, despite where they're at in life. So when you can pull these amazing people together and create something, uh, that's, that's what, that's what I love. So now we're going to get into the actual core of today's podcast, everyone. So around like whatever it is, people always, you know, mistake and misuse information they always think that yeah i'm gonna believe anything i want to believe but what is belief to you and what do you think about people that just believe what they want to when you know they let go of the rest sure belief to me is just a thought it starts with a, a second you can change your belief in in less than a second um you can fall in love in four seconds according to science it's you know so it, it, it the power of a thought is so important and when people want, they people make a conscious choice to believe negative thoughts. People make a conscious choice to believe positive thoughts. Uh, subconscious is trained towards the negative with a lot of people because that's what they surround themselves with. So for me, it's just a matter of making the conscious decision that I want to be positive every single day, that I'm going to make that the situation I'm running in. It might feel negative to me. It's like, okay, how do I turn it into a positive uh, and flip that in my mind before I speak? And uh, it's created a lot of joy for me by doing that. Okay. So what do you think is the most important part of being a human? Uh, connection with each other. Uh, to me, it's a it, it's it's about building um, relationships, and it's about creating um, a better life for everybody around. And with the skill set you're given, we've got carpenters out there building houses. We've got 
you know, um, scientists out there working on the genomes of things, you know, for me, it's just about using my, my experience and my voice to help people switch mindset from a negative to positive mindset. Okay. So since connection is very important, communication is also a big part of connection. We all know that, but how can people make the correct connections in a business type of standard, you know, a business point of view? entrepreneurial side from the connect the basically you have to decide a couple of things what are your strengths and what are you working on achieving that you may need to improve a little more on and what i've always told people is focus on your strengths and make them gold plated then after you gold plate them make them diamond and just you may you work on the your strengths only the weakness is find someone else that is that 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 that, that is their strength so if you take your weakness and you partner with someone who has that strength that may be your weakness, and people call it weakness, but it's the best word for it right now, but really that area of opportunity that they have, when you partner with people and create that, you create something even more special than you could have even realized. So from a business aspect, it's okay not to know certain things. Um, and yes, you will learn some of them and some of them might even become strengths. However, uh, if you hyper focus on your weaknesses, then you're going to lessen your strengths and you will not be as successful in the process. Okay, so we all, everyone here watching is like, man, it's pretty awesome. The connections that we can have with people, the links between them, you know, the only way we're able to connect is because we both have minds and we both choose to use it. Because mm -hmm. people love making connections and they love just to speak with people and they just love to have fun and um, get new experiences, do that type of thing. So what is what inspired you to make all these connections? Um, I think it started when I was a kid. I was 11 years old and I had a paper route and I was delivering newspapers to everyone. And after my first year... Um, I realized just how much better as a person I felt connecting with everyone on my route and then realizing the community that was actually out there and what they could do. And I would go to one place and I would get uh, cookies, for example. Another guy had these shoes I loved and he let me have them after he, he, cause he didn't like them as much. And I was like surprised. And I realized then throughout that process that everybody has different needs and different things. And some people have things that are just absolutely incredible to them um, or maybe nothing to them and incredible to someone else. And sharing that is, is what I realized it quickly. And then uh, I attached success to it. Um, uh, so then I went that first year to win an award uh, and I got this gal gets up and wins the paper carrier of the year award. And I had no idea there was such an award. So I made sure I won it the next three years because uh, I understood the belief behind it, and I created such a great uh, atmosphere within within the team to do that. So, uh, for me, uh, having the right connections also bring you success. Okay, so a lot of people around the world would love to connect with awesome and outstanding people. Today's is a very interesting and intriguing, and to be fair, kind of ironic. You know, because I'm making this connection. Right. This is my first time talking to you besides on Clubhouse. So it's pretty awesome. It's pretty amazing what connections can do. You know, connections led to, you know, two heads being better than one and three being better than two. And most of the time, it's really important for us to, um, you know, make sure those connections stay tied because we really want the good connections, of course. We really want, you know, people to help us evolve because my motto is always we either learn we, we all rise together we lift each other to rise because mm -hmm. as mr martin martin luther king rip legend said uh he said that we must all live to not learn to live like brothers or we all perish together so making connections and actually learning to work together and teamwork and understanding that you can't go through this life doing everything on yourself. You need the help, you need the ideas, and it's just a way that you can be in life. You know, Making a connection is great, but you need to know how to do it. So how do people make the good business life 
whatever it is, the great type of connection, the mini master class? I think the first piece is you have to be able to listen first. You, We all have two ears and we have one mouth. We need to use them in proportion. And too often people out there are listening to reply to other people so they can say what they have to say instead of listening to understand. And so if you can switch that and you can listen to understand, under hear the person and really try to connect with what they're doing like dealing with and then if you can help them you know be a servant leader uh, and and go help them and that connection will begin because of that uh and you said it earlier you know two heads are better than one and so on and so forth well there's a little cool science behind that if one person does a task that's one times the effort but if two per people do the same task it actually equals out to three times the effort and so on. So you have more ability to create even stronger with more people involved when it's all done right. And so it's something that everybody needs to kind of understand that to be a, to have great connections, you first must listen and then serve and then others will follow. Okay, so listening and then speaking, you know, the most important things to learn in a language are the most important things to learn in communication. Mm -hmm. So listening is a very important aspect because most people, even me sometimes, I just can't help but get my ideas through. But you have to learn that if you listen, your ideas may even pop up coming out of somebody else's mouth, you know, because we are human, we can't think together. Um, which is why it stumps me when the teacher says, why do you have the same answers? Maybe it's because there's the exact same questions. <laughs> so one of, the, one of the most important things is that um, as we make connections, we have to make use of them. There is no shame in actually collaborating with someone you connect with because it's not you're not using them, hopefully, you know, and they're not using you. Collaboration is one of the most important things. And I used to be afraid. I used to be like, well, what if they say no? And what if they think I'm coming off at a bad end? And so what do you think about that? As far as collaboration is concerned? Yeah. Um, I think that's the most amazing thing you can have is collaboration. Look, I've got spectacular ideas. Uh, but if you ask me to do certain things in the technology field, there's no way you're, you know, I, I just not going to be able to figure that out anytime soon, but I know people who can and collaborating with them and look, they don't want to be on stage. They want, they're happy to be in the behind the scenes on a computer doing their thing. So to me, we both win in that same aspect of things. So uh, that's why collaboration is so important is if when you have people put together with different strengths, like I said earlier, you create something really masterful. So yeah, collaboration is important, even in the entrepreneurial world. So mm -hmm. it, when you collaborate, like me collaborating with you now, I've done podcasts with many great people, uh, Miss Appel as well, you know, the spiritual waitress, um, mm -hmm. lots of great and amazing people. So collaboration is key, you know, working together in any field. The teacher works with the students to get across a point. If they don't let the students engage, nothing's going to happen. They're not going to learn well. The architect must work with the builders. He needs to give them the ideas so they can build what he's getting paid for. So exactly. basically, it's all collective work. And we should be working together to save our world if we want it to live. So, you know, c collaboration happens everywhere around the world. It's even in any other species. Like bacteria collaborate to kill us. Sure. Yeah. COVID, COVID. That's a good way to put it, buddy. <laughs> so, like, animals collaborate to get their food. Collaboration, working together, is an essential and a must in life. Mm -hmm. So, what are the needs? What are the pillars to collaboration? For me, I believe that to collaborate, you need to elaborate. You know, so you need to be both on one single point. You need to understand what's happening and you need to both have a goal or goals that are on the same line. You know, you don't want to conquer the earth and he wants to conquer Venus. Correct. So what do you think about that? No, I agree. You absolutely have to have a common common goals uh, with different abilities to get there. Uh, so that's very important. So I always tell people like, look, it's it's easy when you have a goal in mind and you can work your way backwards from that goal too often. I think we're too focused on step one 
when really we need to kind of work our way through it in a opposite direction and knowing, okay, if I have to have this and I need this set up and this set up, and then we have a clearer path that way. Um, and, you know, Dawn, since you invoked her name, uh, always says live, you know, live your life like you already understand what the last page of the book says. You already know the last page. You already know how the book is going to end. You already know what, it, what it's going to say. So then write the, write the book backwards. Uh, and it's another analogy for it. When you do that, and you, you both can collaborate and communicate. The communication is absolutely critical here. You both have to agree on how you want to communicate and the boundaries we have behind that. I think too often people are afraid to set their own boundaries. Like, hey, here are my boundaries around communication. Let's keep it there. And then, then we, if we all agree, then we're, it's, an easy, it's an easy thought. When miscommunications will happen is when boundaries aren't established and someone thinks someone's doing this instead of this. And that's what happens. Yeah. So basically, if you want to make great connections in life, we've told you why they're essential, because we all work together in any way, shape mm -hmm. or form. And we told you how you can do it. The last thing is to show you when is the correct time to make connections. Every day, all day, every second, every minute of this world, you need to be making connections because this is something that is really, this is a really powerful a quote that I heard from the John Lee himself. He said, your net work is your net worth because the mm -hmm. people that you know can give you your worth. They give you the, your value. The people that you know value you. The people that you know, you can value and they can value you. So net worth is just your net networking value. So if you can get that down to a tight end, you have the greatest circle, the greatest people, people that you've been working with, people that you know can do this in life. That's how you're going to grow. You're going to grow by helping other people because they can help you. You're not going to grow by just being a freeloader. OK, to be fair, that is something that most people think that, that they can do. But I started my first two years of content creation by doing, you know, great challenges, great ideas, doing great speeches for free. Then when the business comes, that's when the true opportunities are show themselves. Yep. Opportunities like, hey, I want to help you double your money. Not that little side ad that you find on that website where you're playing your game. No, when you actually get an invitation through email because no one will send you anything on Instagram or anything like that. So basically making connections is important, but how do you know the right time? You first need to make the right connection to collaborate. Because when you have a connection, a connection, for me, my term when it comes to having a connection is that you are like, you can be one with that person. You can understand that person. You understand each other perfectly. You've been, uh, you know, with them. You, you've understood them. You've spoken to them. But it doesn't have to be like, you know, you saw it, seeing them every single day of your life. It could be the fact that you have agreed on a single goal and you want to collaborate. What's your definition of collaboration or connection? Well, and to expand upon one of your points really quick before I answer that question, you show me the science. Science, again, we're going back to it. Science says if you show me the top five people that you talk to the most, you'll make 95% of your decisions based on them. So whoever you talk to the most and surround yourself with the most, those five people help you make 95% of your decisions. Well, so for so me, I gotta be, that you means, gotta be really well, so, careful. Oh, sorry, I was just gonna say, you know, I'm on a family of six. So yeah. all my family is going to be the top five that I talk to every single day. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So this way, yeah, good parents though, you really do. Um, I think they're amazing. Uh, so, um, Back to your question about collaboration, though, I think what, when you the collaboration aspect of things really for me is you have to have an idea person and you have to have a person who puts it together and maybe the same person sometimes, you know, that's going to have to happen, especially in small businesses and the inception of an idea. But that's where your collaboration and community starts being built. And when everybody can rally around the same idea, that's how you build these empires that you see today. You think um, Apple did it by themselves. You know, they had, the, they had the idea, they threw some stuff together, and it was a little crazy computer at first. And everybody's like, oh, that's kind of okay. And then next thing you know, more people added their opinions. And then it became the superpower that it is today. 
Um, so in order to have that, you have to be able to start with an amazing idea, put as much work as you can, but then bring in people who are really good at it or with other ideas themselves to expand on it. Yeah. So today's talk was amazing, Mr. Sean Dodd, uh, the Iron Ranger. Um, when I say I and art, when I see them together, I always think pirate. But, um, you know, so <laughs> that's why I said Iron Ranger. But today was a pretty it. amazing battle. We went through an amazing and outstanding time. Uh, we, we, we saw connections. We made connections. And, yeah, I'll see you around on Clubhouse. And I'll see you guys on my Instagram and on his as well. Be sure Looking to stay on from Muhammad Talks so he knows that you all came from me. Thank you very much, Mr. Sean. Hope you're having an amazing day. I'll see you later. See you guys. Bye, guys.